Can you name a case where CASA has been shown independence from DC? I'm really not prepared to answer that, no. Now, can you tell me what exactly is the status of each GAL? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Freekeen.com Are you on the Guardian Board? I am. Question for you. What is this about CASA trying to get immunity as an institution? Is it appropriate for you as a public government board member not to answer questions? Are you on the GAL board? Yeah. I've got a question for you. Dot Knightley from the Unhappy Granny blog says that CASA, quote, goes along with every DCYF whim. Can you name a case where CASA has been shown independence from DCYF? I'm really not prepared to answer that, no. Now, can you tell me what exactly is the status of each GAL? Do they receive any taxpayer dollars at all? And if so, how much? You would know that at least, wouldn't you? Are you on the GAL board? I am. I've got a question for you. I'm sorry. I, I understand there's an attempt to make CASA immune institutionally. Hello, how are you? How is that supposed to inspire, inspire confidence exactly? Are you on the GAL board? I am. Question for you. Sure. Why should the public trust CASA if it's trying to get immunity for itself? Uh, my understanding is that this is the same structure that's used in other organizations. Uh, but beyond that, I don't know. Okay. Well, I appreciate the answer. I know you're running late, so I'll let you go. Yes, but thank I you. I had to go to retirement. Holy crap. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.